<laughs> Lisa, you're fucking useless. Oh, I hope nobody heard. <laughs> well, luckily there's nobody here. We didn't hear that foul language. Hello, Judith. Judith, we're sending your painting today. Do you want to see it? Painted during lockdown. I hope you're happy with that. Obviously, you take this stuff off. I'll just put it back. Can you believe it? Judith, who you're sending that picture to, has just popped up. Yeah? You're here, Mel. We can begin. Happy Monday. They're not all blending into each other just yet, but, um, yeah, I do forget what the day is. Hello, Louise. Hello, Julie. Hello, Christine. Three legger. Stop that, Annaline. It's not got three legs. Hello, Maria Cooper. I always think it would be nice to see you and say, oh, look, there's Maria Cooper's pooper scooper. Gillian, hello. Yes, was, uh, I was watching Vera the other night and. Um, and I said, five years hot bank, look, that's the lake I swam in. Is that Gillian's house that was on? Yeah, did you see it? Yes, because I said we were... So Come over here, Lisa. Look, here's Lisa. She just wants to talk to you about your house, Gillian. <laughs> no, we watched Vera and I just said to James that we've walked past there. That's, uh, is it Pattinson's? Yeah, house? yeah, hot so bank. I, I recognise it. <laughs> so, Gillian, oh, I'll message you. I heard no foul language or foul language. Excellent. Well, I thought I'd turned it on just before 12. And I said, Lisa, you're going to have to entertain them because I need a wee and I need to put some lipstick on. And so Lisa went, no. Anyway, I left her standing here like a complete mug uh, while I had a wee. And she said, I don't know what to do. And I came back out and I said, well, you have to press the button that says start live video. <laughs> uh, hello, Chris Armstrong. I am canine free at the moment, so you don't have a, a pooper scooper. Oh, turn the radio off. Listen, it's just on low. On Monday, the 22nd of June. <laughs> Dickie Carruthers. <laughs> right. Have we got Jules yet? Because she's a bit of a fan of yours, you know, Richard Carruthers. Um, he was supposed to be here with my three light Sussex chickens. He tried to foist off some cockerels on me and I told him where he could stick them. And, uh, and then he added to the bill by saying um, he's got some Keats, that's some young guinea fowl. Anyway, poor Dickie Carruthers, who's watching now, Chris, you'll find this amusing. He's broken down because I think he thought he would come in the swanky car instead of the rough old pickup. And didn't it break down at low row? So I um, presume you're sitting in a garage hoping someone's going to fix your car with a whole load of squawking chickens in the back. Oh, Richard, go on, send me a photograph. Where's my phone gone? Go on, Richard. You know you want to. I'm waiting. I can't believe you swore at your... Did you hear me? Sorry about that. Hello, Sarah. We've only tuned in to meet Dickie Carruthers. Richard Carruthers, I'm trying to invite you to join in. I'll oh, go on. Just a little hello to your fans. But they, they just want to meet you. Come on, just a little hello, Marianne. 
What kind of cockerels have you got, Dicky? Look, you see, they want to meet you. Go on, just, just, come on, Richard. Come on, you know you want to. And then you can meet Lisa as well. It says adding. Come on, you know you want to. Light Sussex, I think they are. Fiona, you don't want any Light Sussex cockerels. You see, Richard, somebody says they think you'll have handlebar moustaches. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? OMG, I'm so lucky. Look, ah, oh, thank you, Judith. Richard, why don't you just accept my invitation? It says no answer from the live video guest. And now I've frozen and that's your fault. Right, Richard, the screen froze and that's your fault because you refused to join in. I think that's very mean of you. Very, very mean. Look, here's my love, lovely new Roebuck brooch. Hello, Marjorie Milburn. We want Dickie. We want Dickie. What about, what about, you know how shy you are, Richard? What about if you send a little selfie on this and then I can hold it up like that? Just message her. That would be such good fun. And it would be like massaging your huge ego. Think of it. Neil Nixon, hello. We've got your order already. We're going to swing by with it. And I'll have a word with you about the print things. It's slightly, mm, 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 slightly awkward because I wouldn't let somewhere else answer. Hello, Joanne Houston. Hello, Jan Oliver. Right. We, I think we, we just don't have Jules or Marianne Ray, which is disappointing. Anyway, you'll be wanting me to put my sophisticated and elegant glasses on. These are not the ones that cost three pounds. These are the ones that cost quite a lot more and we can do a bit of painting now then uh is there somebody there who will tell me if there's a bit too much of that coming out because i can't always tell oh my goodness my sister's there louise <laughs> hello louise will you send me a message if there's a bit too much of that showing because yesterday evidently there was because i'm just about to tip you all up what time will it be I don't know, Neil, because um, it'll be the next time somebody's swinging by your place. Right, so we've got some Payne's Grey. And we need the pointy paintbrush, that paintbrush and that one to do the, um, to do the black bits on the ones up here. I did a little bit more yesterday. I sort of cheated. I have, oh, there you are, Marianne Ray. Could you please do cleavage watch or indeed um, like bogey watch, hair watch, awkward brown face watch, blemish, just blemish watch. Right, I'm going to tip you up. Thanks for my order, it's gone to New Zealand, fantastic. <gasps> Buddy Oliver, hello. Someone else will have to be the boob monitor. Why, where are you going? Selfish, right, tip you up. Yes, you can see. And what's more, I think I can even see you. Right, so I'll have a go on this one. It's been a very funny morning here. Hasn't it, Lisa? Um, we've got water coming in the roof, which is obviously quite disappointing. Oh, and there he is. There's some, um, and there's the roofer. He's just, ooh, he's looking sort of disgruntled. Yeah, we've we've had water coming through the roof for quite a while now. Is that too much? And Lawson, oh, hello. We shared all your lovely um, cakes out where my grandchildren came the other day. They absolutely adored them. Thank you. Yeah, we've got water coming in and bringing the ceiling down a bit, which doesn't really matter too much in the summer. But um, obviously, I'm not sure where to go at all, so you can see what I'm doing. There. Is that it? Yeah. But, you know, when you get 
when we start getting a lot of rain, then um, it's just going to bring the ceiling down. So we've got someone coming here right now, having a look, which is great. Except I'm terrified that he comes and says, well, I'm afraid you're going to have to have the whole roof off. But at least I'm mentally prepared for that. Oh, he's going back up the ladder. Which is a good sign, I guess. Right, so this is kind of, we need everything to swirl around and then over the ridge of the shoulder. Oop, not wet enough. Oh, let's see the roofer. Oh, you've missed him. He is a bit of a Coca-Cola man, isn't he? Well, he looks quite fit. Next time he comes down the ladder, I'll turn it round, Margaret. You can't see. Can you see now, Mel? I'll, turn, I'll bring you a little bit. Oh. There. What have I missed? Nice badge. Thank you, Paul. Gift from Paul. Dickie Carruthers, large light Sussex Fiona. I can't believe you've broken down and you're trying to flog chickens to my friends, Richard Carruthers. I'm going to tell your mother. Not that she believe anything I say after the incident. I think I might swap brushes and go for the slightly, this quite nice angled one, which you've seen before. Yes, yeah, so I was expecting a delivery of chickens and also guinea fowl this morning, but um, yeah, Richard Carruthers, his car's broken down on the A69 at Low Row. So he says, And the roof is here, so it's so like all go. Right. It's lovely doing these black bits because they're just so defining and um, by sort of just twisting the brush a bit, you can. You can really, uh, what's the word, you can kind of inform the shape of the bird. So Mel, I did it again this morning. I took my horse to a school, friend's school, and uh, did some school. Again, I think I'm getting obsessed. The thing is, a whiff of a competition has me in a frenzy because if there's one thing I don't like doing, it's losing. And if there's one thing I really, really like, it's winning. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting a poor horse like, whipped into shape. Uh, I've, that one of the roofers is out there, but he's not what you'd call eye candy. So I won't, I won't turn the camera around until the younger one comes down the ladder. I mean, he's nice enough, he's, you know, he's nice looking for a sort of bald grey chap with a moustache, but I'm not sure I want to interrupt my painting for him, Margaret. What's going on? What are you saying? Is he friendly or a nasty one? Oh, the chickens! I thought you meant the roofer. He was just coming past the window. <laughs> I was thinking, how can I discreetly turn turn my iPad towards him? He would certainly never think for a minute that I, I would be doing what I am doing. But then people find things out. I was somewhere the other day. Oh, I think I told you I was at uh, Mole Valley Country Store trying to get dog food. And uh, the girl in there said, "E, we love you for live videos. And I'm like, 
Sorry, who are you? <laughs> There's a lot of people seem to watch, but they don't sort of send a message or... Right. So hopefully, you know, that looks like a light... Su what do you think, Richard, for others? What do you think? Does that look like a light Sussex cockerel? These ones. William Ho. Good girl, little. Thank you, Mel. Little and often. Yeah, I think I was only there for like a bit over half an hour and things were all going so well. And I've got a little bit of a struggle with my left lead canter, but I won't bore everyone else with that. And I was wanting to sort of keep doing it. And then I thought, no, trot him out and walk him off and take him home. Right, tippy up. Let me do this one here, but I'll start with the other brush. The pointier one. Used to be pointy until I abused it and left it in the water overnight as per. Right, so this one, I'm hoping you can see. Yes, you can. Uh -oh. oh, look at that. I'm always doing that. I put my great thumping hand on there and then, anyway, I'll just try and keep a little bit. Out of the way. Um, Are you going, Jan Oliver? Oh, there's the other, there's the older roofer. I'll see if we can quickly turn you around. Can you see him? Did you see him, Margaret? That's the older one, obviously. Right. Sorry for everyone else who isn't curving on old roofers. Actually, it's a bit mean. He's not, you know, he's not old. He's just older than the other one. And anyway, these things are relative, aren't they? When the uh, younger one comes down the ladder, I'll try and remember to do a quick. A quick sort of turn around. Can you see? Which one am I pointing? Oh, yes, that's it. You can see. Don't forget to let me know if anything is either not working or too much being revealed. Paul, are you there today? Judith Banks, can you hear all that rustling? That's your fault. The other brush. This brush is as numb as anything. Maybe we ought to order some more. So this one's tight. Oh god, there's a creature. 
head. So this one's got the tail comes up like that. But it'll be black, so it doesn't matter if if these are there. If it won't sort of, uh, we can just paint over, and it won't uh, wreck the painting. Sorry, I thought for a moment there we were going to get the uh, Coca-Cola version. Okay. Shall we have a go at the eyes? Yes. That was a rhetorical question. So as usual, it's much easier to do... Um, upside down and because then the dark area gravity will help it to, to be a little bit darker right I'm just going to quickly tip you up I spied him but hanging on for the younger one yeah the old one's there um, actually the younger one's put on a rather unattractive hat so I didn't really think it was a hat sort of a day, but turns out... Oh God, they're bringing bits down. They seem to be taking bits of my roof away with them. Is that a slanted brush? Yes, Maria Cooper, it is. Right. But we're using this one for the eyes. So I'll tip you up. Always makes you think of that song. I'm a little teapot. Right. Um, as usual, mix up. for the little beady eye. We had some, um, we, we, did we, you know those like Suc Sussex cockerels we had, the ones that attacked people? Lisa? Yeah. Did we breed them, do you remember, or did I buy them? Um, I think you did hatch them. What happened to it? <laughs> the usual then, the fox. Uh, yeah, turns out we had the last lot of light Sussex. We must have got the eggs from somewhere. Maybe I got them from Michelle, you know, from Four Laws. Um, and the cockerel, we had, we had a cockerel that was absolutely hideous. And just terrorised. Oh, oh heavens! There's some more ladders moving around. Uh, yeah, just terrorised people. And it, even if you carried a stick, and even if you used that stick, it just seemed to provoke it into like further. Don't worry about the white bits left over. I'll just paint them red. But what I like to do is. Make sure that there's a little bit of darker at the top of the eye here where it's shaded by this bit of red stuff that looks like bubble gum. Okay, two more to do. Trying not to smudge the place with paint. So yes, um, I'll probably be here on Tuesday, but as I said to those of you who were here yesterday, not Wednesday. Wednesday is a big day off and we have plans. And if the plans come to fruition, I will tell you all about it. In fact, you just have to look at my Facebook page.
Yes, the older, less attractive one is right outside my window now. Right, while they're all still a bit wet, I'm going to get a little bit of a little bit darker. That's nice. See, just so just sort of makes the top bit of the ah, that's got dry. Top bit of the beady eye. A bit darker. Oh, we've got to be quick in the summer. It's all gone. Oh, no, that's nice and nice and wet. There we are. Just give it a moment. And while it's having a moment. God. Oh. You know how I mentioned before how five people bought me a pair of earrings that were foul? Um, well, I shouldn't say that because you might watch this. They just weren't really my cup of tea. They were like corkscrews. Anyway, these ones are gorgeous. He bought these for me. Look, they've got a tiny, tiny, like almost embarrassingly small diamond in the middle. How nice is that? And I thought I'd lost them. And then I found them last night. I love the way you understand how these chickens move and communicate. The painting throws, Daph, are you not wanting some cards? Just tell me what you want and we'll send them and we'll sort out the money later. I keep losing you. We used to have Polish bantams. Mel, we, Fifey, Fifey went to um, Haswell. He, no, was it Haswell? Yeah, I had an exhibition and there was a poultry sale on the same day. And, um, oh dear, broadcast has been interrupted. Anyway, and he said, he said, do you want me to come to the exhibition? I said, no, go to the poultry sale, get me some turkeys for Christmas. And um, so he said, is there anything else you want? And I said, yeah, just get anything that's really nice, you know, something, something gorgeous to, um, Fiona Douglas, yes, I use a particular makeup brush. Pro, Pro Arty Proline. And what's more, I sell them. So if you go to my website, go to Art Materials, then you can find, there's the good looking one. to even tell. Anyway, so, yeah, he said, what do you want? I said, just anything. Anyway, at the end of the day, and he came to pick me up in, in the pickup. And, you know, I said, I don't think I can do it. This is too rude. He's literally just there. Uh, he said, um, and he had a sheepish look about him. Anyway, uh, there were quite a few boxes in the back of the pickup. And when I opened one of them, I just said, what, you know, what on earth are these? And why have we got them? Um, can I just ask, is everyone having an interrupted broadcast or is it just, I think that it, just do a thumbs up if, if I'm coming through loud and clear and, and not breaking up. Anyway, so it turned out um, that he was leaving, having bought the turkeys and whatever else, and there was a chap from Birmingham and he was asking go off and come back on, should work. Other people seem to be getting me coming through loud and clear. I'm gonna to have to go quite soon because I think he wants to tell me what's the damage on the roof thing. Anyway, so, um, oh good, everyone says it's fine. Oh, somebody says it's interrupting. The roofers have made a 65. <laughs> some people are fine, some people aren't, so it's not my fault. Anyway, this guy was standing with a box and he had accidentally, he was a magician from Liver, from Birmingham, that's right, because he had this 
Brummy accent, and uh, he tried. He thought he was bidding for some lovely pigeons to, you know, to put under his coat and go pa and have them flying around. And he ended up with two Polish bantam cockerels by mistake in the box. And he was pretty much just going to give them to anyone, so he didn't finally buy them off him. Anyway, um, he brought them here. We let them out. They flew away. We never saw them again. So that is it's fine and done, Leary. So yeah, Poland Bantam. Right, should we do a little bit more to the tales? It's all good in Australia. Well, if I can get to Australia, Neil Nixon, I think we have to conclude that the problem is in Wark, not in, I wonder, if, look, Margaret. I, this thing doesn't turn around all that well. Okay, so I'll start adding the, the tail feathers onto this lovely one here. All good in Australia. Hello, John Armstrong. Today's been a bit more Chippendales. <laughs> Chippendales hen party. Well, if you want to watch Bob Ross's painting, The Joy of Painting, and anyway, I've worked out why he dyed his, why he permed his hair. I think it's because um, he didn't want people to recognise him from his previous life as the model out of The Joy of Sex. So he permed his hair as a disguise. That's my um, theory. The Joy of Painting. Who thought of that as a good idea? He's coming to the door. I have to go. Wait there. Just going to call it. Hi. Hi. She's just had to go and speak to the roofer because he's finished. Um, so she'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Talking about, I should scan to the roof, but I can't move it without it. <laughs> probably heard whoops need your brushes or message you do you have a reference photo or is this all out of your head um this isn't one reference photo the the, the composition and the stances oh we can reverse as well that's good are all out of my head but i do have uh like lots of photographs of minute light sussexes um, so yeah, things like this, which I'm really, really familiar with, I don't actually need any reference material for. 
Um, I bet she makes the conversation last, dear. Uh, The Rufus testosterone is stealing the signal. Anyway, so it turns out it was just a few slates off. Can you believe it? I've been really worried, thinking, thinking he was going to say, like, the whole roof's going to come off. And that would be like tens of thousands, and I'd have to... I don't know what I'd have to do. Anyway, that's all great, great news. Um, so that's where we're up to. I'm afraid to, this morning's probably been more yakking than painting. I think I'm going to have to stop now and tell Fifey to um, the great news about the slates, because that's all it was, and he's done a little bit of pointing as well. So not like that pointing, but cement and stuff. Look, look, look. Those little sheep, they were just, they were just here. Just a quick one. Right, over here is the packing area. There's Lisa. Say hello again. Hello again. Mm-hmm. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I have to turn it round, don't I? Right there. Oh no, I've turned it the other flipping way. There. And there's the packing area. And the fragile tape, which is very important. And all the important things. And loads and loads and loads and loads of envelopes. Ooh. Um, there's the very long ruler that falls over. Very important room, the loo. Okay, moving past here, this is where we have stuff on shelves. China. Oh, that's a painting someone's coming to pick up. With a box on top of it. <laughs> it's really loud. <laughs> Uh, and look, there are the lovely paint brushes and the lovely paints and the lovely logs for when it's cold. Oh, one of my things that I collect. Um, no lights are on, so we've got quite a lot of paintings. I'll try drinking coffee instead of gin. Thank you, Alan Peacock. Don't bring me down to your standards. Um, da -de -da -de -da. That's the door, and that's where the roofer parked his van. Oh, and there are some paintings that need, actually the one on the left's finished. And then we come back, oh, there are the steps that go up to the office upstairs and the balcony and the mezzanine. I'll have that, I have that. And this is where uh, we keep some of the bigger prints under here. And that is where I sit. And that, that white thing is what I bought specially to hold this iPad on for you. You've come back. And that, that's a scarf we're going to photograph off that this afternoon. And this is the area you've seen rather a lot of, which is like the kitchen. Um, and there's the bin, which is probably full of tea bags. And then, oh, that's where I sometimes put a dog. Oh, there's a couple of paintings going away for a charity thing. And those stairs there take you down, and through those doors is the print gallery. Um, and there's some paper placemat pads that need packing up. Yes, it was the Roofer Boys Energy Sam. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the that's the lovely Yotel fire that I was telling you about. I'll just move this out of the way. You can, whoops, so that you can see the word. See? Who wouldn't buy a fire with the word slut written on it? 
I think it means something like it's nice to keep your house. I love the studio. Well, it's fairly creative. And there's a big story behind that chair, which I will tell you next time. Beautiful chair. And people always say, oh, what a lovely chair. Is it for sale? And I say, no. don't really know what all this lot is. Oh, and this is the special drawer. Oops. Oh dear. This is the drawer. That I keep my originals in before they go to be framed. Peeping out. All sorts of things like feet and tails and that's it for today folks um i think i'll be here tomorrow definitely not wednesday anyway have a lovely day bye